it's time for you to know and for us to start our show. Have a drink and take a seat here on Bruzic and Boozy. Oh, I heard the little beep. Beep. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, there's a fly in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome back, everybody. Woo, 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 woo. Welcome back to this. Welcome back, Chris. Back to the boxes. Yeah, back to the music and boxes. Music and boxes. <laughs> virtual, virtual hanging out. Yeah. But we got we got an exciting one this week. I'm excited about it because you love this movie. I also love this movie. Um, but we were talking and we were like, why don't we do like a back to school kind of movie? And then you brought up Greece, and I was like, oh, that is a back yeah. to school movie because like summer ended. Yeah, I think oh, it was on TV cool. too. Yeah, I feel like it's always I don't know on why. TV. I thought of that one. Like, I was thinking more musical things for us to talk about. Yeah, so that may have this... been also why I chose that because it's an yeah, actual it was... musical. An actual musical. Um, but yeah, what are we talking about? A movie. Mm-hmm. Hang on one second. Sit. Just want to grab this. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot to grab a pillow. Oh, no. Oh no, get cozy. Oh, <laughs> this chair is like shot. So, okay. You need to get comfy. Yeah. Um, but what are we doing? What's the word? So, um, we're doing Greece. Woo! Not the, not the country, not the stuff. Not the country. That you put in your food, but sort of uh, more like the stuff you put in your hair. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, does anyone have any background on this movie? Uh, like, like childhood memories. Sure, we can start with that. Um, I mean, I used to watch this movie all the time, and it was like one of those VHSs that was taped from the TV. Um, but then I think we upgraded at one point and we had the actual VHS, but we used to watch it all the time. And Mm -hmm. I was telling you, I, I did a production, a community theater production of Greece when I was in high school. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You were in it, but it was obviously not the movie. It's the more the Broadway version, which I did see. And I was very confused when I saw that version. (laughs) how different it is from the movie. Yeah, there's there's a lot of different, there's more songs that they cut for the movie. A lot of less Yeah, less and characters the characters, the, the names movie. are there, some of them, but they're very different. I remember watching that show, going to see that at some theater and having trouble following it. <laughs> yeah, then it's again, a little It could have been, I was just very young. And I'm pretty sure the movie went over my head a lot too as a kid. So, yeah, um, I, before I we do that, that, since you took a nice sip of that beverage, what are we drinking tonight for our crease episode? Did you make anything clever? I didn't because I had bought a whole case of these delicious ranch waters. So I'm just drinking ranch water. Ranch water. Yeah, it's, and it's uh, spicy. Yeah, it's carbonated beverage agave lime juice and then jalapeno flavoring i think i've had this on the podcast before okay so check this one out i made Mm -hmm. what i like Mm -hmm. to call a twisted (laughs) (laughs) t-bird it's quite delicious and it's whiskey and uh, icy actually no this is uh straight up vodka (laughs) I didn't use the whiskey tonight. Okay. Twisted T-Bird. I like that. <laughs> We're getting really creative. <laughs> We've come a just long name, way from- Just the names. Just the names get creative. We've the drinks stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks stay the same. Let's never mention that again. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, that was really bad. I got Not sick that night. Favorite. Did I tell you that? I got sick that night. I think so, yeah. Because there's just like so much- <laughs> nonsense in that drink sugar or something yeah there was a lot of that like lime liquor Ugh. 
yeah the swamp drink yeah i forgot what it was called you don't suggest that anyway <laughs> back to back to our episode yes um, um first memories for me i think my brother was into it and he wanted to watch it i remember watching it with him and a friend of ours maybe wanted to watch it that's all i kind of remember my first time seeing it yeah and i think i knew john travolta from some other movies because early 90s john travolta was pretty popular yeah so think of any other it was kind of like i know that guy from <laughs> other movies that have been out recently so mm. not realizing yeah. how young he was in this movie yeah also singing but, yeah. and dancing oh well yeah so yeah yeah he did saturday night fever which i've never seen but also dancing mm-hmm. in that movie right um I just remember any party with a DJ, I feel like always played summer nights when we were kids and everyone, the guys would sing the guy part right. and the girls would sing the girl part. Always. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's funny. Um, I think my most memorable like thing is the beginning of this movie, but not so much the beginning at the beach with Danny and, uh, and Sandy, <laughs> Sandy Beach. Um, it's the uh, the cartoon animated intro with the theme song that always stuck out to me. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot all about it. Um, that's because you didn't watch it word, recently. Have you heard? Um, which that song's not in the musical. They just wrote it for the movie. Which, yeah. So who who performs that, Christopher? So it's it? Frankie Valley, but who writes it? Who wrote it? Oh, I don't know that. I I know it's Frankie Valley, but I don't know who wrote it. It's Andy or Barry. Mm. and your barry gibbs no way i didn't know that so it makes sense oh, like hear it it's very much a bg song <laughs> yeah it really is <laughs> yeah it's very bgs because it is by yeah. them. So, oh okay, um, i didn't know that you've educated me a little bit very good <laughs> the only reason why i picked up on that because it says song written perform or written by is it andy or barry it's gonna drive me nuts one of the Fact checker. anyways. <laughs> one of the BJs. Is he there? Fact checker, we need you. <laughs> a fact checker? No, Our no FC fact is out. <laughs> we might have one. Fact checker. Fact checker. <laughs> you gotta stick fact up your checker. finger. Fact checker. Fact checker. <laughs> um, it's fun to say. I didn't know that. I always hated that scene too, where. I don't know why, because it sets up the movie, but like when Danny and Sandy are on the beach, it's just like so uncomfortable for me. I don't know why. It makes why? me cringe. I don't know. It just makes me cringe. It's very it cheesy, like, the music. Yeah. It's like the whole thing is cheesy. Da, 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 da. Which I like, but it is a little cheesy. So cheesy. This whole movie is very cheesy, but that's the point. But I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That Something about that scene seemed weird to me, too. I think I just know. the way it's filmed, like it seems like it was like an afterthought the way they filmed it. Like it right? was like a it green screen. Like, they threw was, like a fan yeah. with their hair blow in the wind. <laughs> but there's that classic line though that goes like, is this the end, Danny? It's like, no, Sandy. It's just the beginning. <laughs> there's that part in that song though, talking about the music right away. Mm-hmm. Where it just goes to the drum beats, like, and then it comes back in, or whatever. I don't know. I always thought that was like the end of the song there. And it's like, oh, there's they... more. <laughs> but I think it's, it's just like a that... little drum solo. I feel like it ends that way, though, too. It, it The drums fade out the song. Yeah. Don't they? So, the end, right. Yeah. I think it comes yeah. back again. But like the first time, I always think is the end. And then it's like, nope. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, you know, they go back to school and they see each other again. And there's that classic John Travolta looking back where it's like, it's like, hey, Zuko, or whatever they say. And he's just like, like, he has a cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> Very classic John Travolta. Like that. I think of that that shot when it, people say the word grease like that image yeah almost. like him like super yeah. cool it's like on the cover like that too. 
Um, I love all the character introductions in this movie are so good because oh yeah you and I also I love the principal and then the I guess her secretary yeah <laughs> <laughs> when they do the the xylophone yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny it is um, funny. wait who's so who's your favorite greaser I mean T Bird obviously greaser, Zuko whatever. but um. It's funny because I got into taxi later and knowing Kaniki. Oh, yeah, like, he's on taxi. On Greece. And yes. then when I watched taxi, you know, he's from Matt. So it was kind of or around the same time, a little bit late. It's like around that era. I don't know if he was on taxi yeah. first or it was like later. I can't remember. But I just know it's fun to watch that show knowing him as Kaniki. Yeah. And like Kaniki was such a bizarre kind of wild out there guy in this movie. So. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't have a favorite, but obviously Zuko. Um, well, do you have a favorite? <laughs> I just love favorite? all of the outrageous high school stereotypes they make for this movie. Yeah. Like they got the also, nerd, the jock, um, the, the whatever, the, the goody goody girl or whatever you call her. She's not. Uh, yeah, I can't you know who's my favorite character? Name. I'll tell you who my favorite character is. It's kind of a tie. Okay. After watching it this time, the coach. Oh yeah, he's great. And and uh, and what's his name? Vince Fontaine. Oh my god, he's <laughs> so, so creepy. creepy. <laughs> I know. But I love how how great he is. That whatever that part is so crazy. So creepy though. Oh my god. Um, Perfect. Nails it. I, I used to be able to say that whole thing. The Vince Fontaine in the beginning yeah, when he was talking really I fast. Can't say. I, when I was watching it, yeah. When I was watching it the other day, I'm like, I used to be able to say that. I was kind of like mouthing words. It's like, ah, <laughs> oh, I can't do it right now. But, but maybe if I had it on, I could kind of do it. But yeah, those are kind of my favorite people. What about you? You relate like more to the to the Rizzo's and the Well, yeah, I think and the Frenchies. I love Rizzo. She's my favorite. But I think, do you, I don't know. Other, you said you were you, Rizzo? No, no, I was just in the cast. Oh, okay. when I did it. Yeah, yeah. But she is my favorite. I like, I love her song. I love her character. Um, but is, is there Duty? Is, du- is name Duty in the, in the movie? Or is Duty, that so Duty, Google? yeah. Duty is the, the darker hair one. Because Putsy yeah. is the blonde. Yes. And then you got. Um, what's the what's the other guy's name? The last T bird, besides Kaneki, the other guy. I don't know. I can't think of his name. Duty's only, the only thing in my head right now because his name's like Denunzio or something like that. Yeah, that's his real name. Okay, it'll come to me in a little bit. I'm just blanking. Yeah, bit. I can't Sunny. think of it. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one who's saying. Well, it's not in the movie, but he sings. Um, uh. Oh my God! What's the name of the song? C C C C C C A A A A minor F F F. That's in oh the my show. God. Yes. Oh. Okay. Those magic changes. I couldn't think of it. He sings those magic changes. Sunny. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I love I love Duty because he's just ridiculous. And mm-hmm. Also, he doesn't look like a high schooler in the movie at all. No. That's the thing. They all look like, like they're like grown ass man. <laughs> 35, 40. <laughs> yeah. Because they are. They're they're very much older to be high school kids, but that's kind of the the charm and outrageous thing about this movie. How how it's more just about the uh I don't know. It's the tone of the movie. I don't know how how else to explain it. Just how like over the top it is. Yeah, it is very over the top. Mm-hmm. And it, it works then. It's a little goofy. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not like, so the Dear Evan Hansen movie musical Speaking is of coming goofy, out. Yeah, and I was thinking that too. I was like, that guy yeah. looks like he's 40 and he's like playing a 17-year-old. Yeah. But I guess if it's trying to just be very specific of the actor i don't i I really don't know yeah i don't know either yeah i think that's been some of the complaints i've heard already about the trailer that came out the other day 
So I wonder if that was one of the complaints about this movie. Like they all look like they're so much yeah, older. Yeah, they're like high high school kids. Like John Travolta is thirty five years old. How is he in this movie? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what were you saying? Speaking of goofy, it's just that whole going when they do. Um, maybe not so much this one. I'm thinking more Grease too. They do it or like a uh, back, back. Oh back yeah, yeah. I watched that one not too long ago. So, but it's like they have this. What I mean, they have summer loving. That's kind of like it's a little. That doesn't the, like. There's not a song as they're going into school. It's like yeah, they fade out with the grease theme, and then they they go into summer loving. So, all right, let's talk about that song. Summer well, wait, first loving. Of all, who's how does wait, what Rizzo I figure? How does Rizzo figure? I I forgot because I didn't watch this before we talked about it. Obviously, Rizzo how does find Rizzo out about Danny yeah i don't remember because they're talking in the group and they're just like i made a boy there and, <laughs> and she's like, no, like what was his name it's like danny danny oh, zico right right and right. she goes <laughs> she goes like oh it's like uh your wish will come true or something like that if you really <laughs> maybe you'll see him yeah she says something really so, sarcastic yeah. and mean <laughs> right yeah. right right and then they start yeah they start singing summer Eleven, which mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. It's, watching this movie again, how how creepy everybody is. It's like everyone everyone talks that way, but that's why I just love how it's like so over the top. Like I was saying, you know, I feel like it's so. A lot of things go over my head when I was a kid with some of these yeah, songs, especially of especially Grease <laughs> Lightning. But there's a couple in. Uh, we're gonna talk to about that guy say and i'm like I, I love oh my god thing. yeah yeah when we um, knew that as kids and we're just like did you just say that <laughs> <laughs> um i was listening to when i was getting ready i was listening to the uh the new broadway cast recording that came out i don't know early 2000s and they yeah. took all of those innuendos and changed them to make them not innuendos. <laughs> well i was watching the the tv edit that's on freeform because I, I watched it on demand. Yeah. And how they chopped up that song is so interesting. To get rid of all those innuendos. Yeah, they just cut verses clearly, just cut them right out and then switch yeah. some of the words around. It's like, it's just, I don't even know what they were, but I'm like, well, that was, that was an interesting change. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it ruins some songs sometimes. I mean, some of, some of, the new one knows increase lighting are gross <laughs> so like good thing they removed them yeah but like some of them aren't they're that funny bad. though Could they're funny with them in. yeah they're funny well they're they think gross. they're the tip they're like that's uh i don't know whoever wrote the songs they're like yep yeah, that's that suits the uh the t-birds that's it really does suit it, it really does though like it makes sense yeah. like so it fits them so well it's but crazy. i think it's it, it would be endearing if they were actual high school aged. I think what makes it worse is that they're all like 30 year old men playing high school. Right. It seems things. immature for them and to like, talk Ugh. that way and say those lines. Yeah. Like a little bit. Yeah. It's like weird. I'm like, uh, you can see like a bunch of guys like of age hanging out and saying stuff like that. But then you're like, uh, well, dude, the guy who plays duty is clearly like a 40 year old man. And this is uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of, innuendos in this movie <laughs> it's, it's it's galore um i love the staging of summer Eleven too because it makes you feel like a broadway musical when you're watching it even though it's mm-hmm. film um and you can see like because like if it was a stage production they would be side by side the girls would be on one side the guys would be on the other side maybe they cross a little bit but um i love the feel of the guys are on the bleachers up high the girls are like on the picnic mm-hmm. tables in the right. having lunch it works so well um yeah i was kind of taking more i i, I kind of took more note about that how it transitions back and forth between the guys and the bleachers and and the girls and some of the choreography i was i don't know why i was kind of more interested in paying attention to this time watching it usually i just listen to the music and just watch the movie but i guess me the watching movies now appreciating everything Mm-hmm. taking note of like their you know all the choreography like they're, they're doing all of this crazy crazy choreography and didn't really occur to me till now when you when you watch something 
you know, your brain is kind of numb, right? Like you just watch it. It's visual. It's fun or whatever. But it's like, put yourself in those characters or those actors shoes, like what they're doing. And I think about that now every time. And I'm like, that looks exhausting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and they're like, not, they they're must not have done it like 80 times. Yeah. Yeah. For every like song. One, I'm like, two, how two, did they, they must be. Yeah. I mean, like they must have been dead after making this movie. <laughs> My favorite, it's not even choreography. I think Kaniki does it. There's one point where he lays on his back on the bleachers and he just starts kicking his legs up in the yeah, air. And yeah. I don't know why I love it so much. It makes so <laughs> I used to do this. I can't really turn around, but like when I'd be on the bleachers, I just mm-hmm. go like, shoo-ba, shoo-ba, shoo-ba. Shoo-ba. I would always do that. <laughs> yeah, when part. they're like yeah. shuffling across. Like, oh. Yeah. It's so like, good. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. Great song, great writing. Oh, so iconic. And like that end when Danny freezes. Oh, come on. John Travolta. Yeah. He weighs all of like that, that, he hits that high, there. Hits that high BG yeah. note. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. There's a there's a SNL bit. I think with Jimmy Fallon does that with uh, Tina Fey. Mm-hmm. And I was impressed because they they like they nailed it. I'm like, I'm like, is that really them singing? I think it was. And it sounded like oh. exactly on point. I don't know when that was or what i don't know i think i just had it on one night but that always comes to mind too when i think of that classic uh <laughs> tell me tell more me. yeah i forgot what i was gonna say i had a thought in my head and it totally went away when i started singing um strong singing little fruit fly here that is just annoying yeah there's a cricket in down here it's been down here for days <laughs> oh my god you know what i heard it before and i was yeah say, yeah when it's you were in, setting it's up, in my, like, it's, in my it's yeah it's it's around here somewhere i hear it randomly it it'll just kind of go just if like am i quiet enough i'll just go <laughs> yeah i heard <laughs> and it and that's and it. i thought it was your phone making a sound <laughs> that's so funny no no um it's our friend jiminy since you watched it but yeah guide us, guide us to the yes. next scene is it the is it the the pep rally thing or did we miss the scene kind of yeah well they kind of talk about danny and then i think there's some like t-bird stuff i want to oh, say grease lightning probably happens oh my god did i skip does lightning? It? i think i did i think it does okay you might yeah, be because right. I can't remember. You get introduced to Grease Lightning, and Kaniki goes to pick up. Well, Rizzo you know, what, Kaniki's Grease talking Lightning about what he night. did. Yeah, he was talking about like what he, he did over the summer. He like worked so he could save up for a car, and that might have been before summer nights. But um, yeah, I never picked up on that either. Yeah, the car's like a big deal in this movie. <laughs> I what mean, there's got? a whole song about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think Grease Lightning happens next because then Kaniki then goes pick up after the pep rally. Kaniki picks up Rizzo right. in Grease Lightning. So I think Grease Lightning happens now. We could talk about it now anyway. Even no, though no, we kind of already talked about it. No, no, Grease order. Lightning. <laughs> oh, no, no. I have a lot of notes on that. I'm just saying we were just going off book. No notes. Oh, the yeah. Structure. Whatever. Tonight. We're on the fringe. Just winging it like Grease. <laughs> Um, um okay so grease lightning yeah besides we already mentioned like all the crazy lyrics and stuff i just remember my biggest memories like and i'm sure this is what makes this part of this scene so great is when they just go underneath the car and they come back out and they're in this like you know oh, glorious yeah, like- um <laughs> shop and they all have different outfits on and i always thought it was interesting like kinnicky's jacket was like a little bit more brown i don't know if you noticed that no, I never noticed that. In the, in in like the fantasy, because mm-hmm. I love Danny's outfit in that scene. Like he has a really cool, like a cooler version of his T bird outfit. And I never noticed that. Yeah, and then like it's just it was kind of cool the car, like how it was designed, like that, like it had like a clear top, a uh, hood, mm-hmm. and like how they put the engine in and stuff. And I just think about like the legs shooting out. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> look at that choreography there. It's so bizarre. Yeah. Um, but everybody knows that song. It's just yeah. I feel like everyone knows every song of this movie. Like there, 
there's no song in this movie that you're like you hear and you're like i don't know what that is it's like you do you know beautiful dropout you know this you know yeah. uh this was probably my favorite at i don't know if i rank it's hard to rank these songs um yeah. I, now as i'm older i i have more appreciation for the other songs i don't know i maybe they because i didn't honestly and i may have done it this time i fast you forward like, to a lot of the a lot of the female songs <laughs> you don't do you like stand at the drive i just don't listen I feel like you would like stranded. No, that one's I know good you like stranded at the drive-in it's so good no i like that one it's just like um look at me i'm there's Sandra more Day. they're great songs but i get like i don't know it's something about something about them i just go i don't know <gasps> who's that woman that's weird jan yeah is she the weird one yeah i always think of jan and a and a beaver yeah brush up brush up brush yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <you> <laughs> so um well, she does but i so i this movie to me works because it's so good at being like a film and also being like a broadway production and i love that slip in um grease lightning where they go into that like fantasy world it's like these ultra yeah, cool it becomes guys. more like the show mm -hmm. yeah i love that because it would be so boring otherwise and <laughs> yeah you're probably right and you're like you know these i love that these are oh, like super you just reminded me when uh yeah. i i was paying attention to this when like you know he goes systematic and he throws like the jacket behind him i love that throw mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like perfect on the onto the shelf behind him <laughs> definitely that was probably definitely an accident it doesn't matter. It's awesome. Um, it's a lucky shot. Also, I think my dream role. Who sings recycling? Is it Kaneki or is it Danny? No, Danny. I feel like in the stage production, I think it's Kaneki. Oh, okay. To give him yeah, in the movie, it's Danny. something to do. <laughs> um, I feel like that. I don't know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Kaneki. Um, but my dream role is not Danny, but I would like to sing recycling in any production of Grease. <laughs> he just greasing up your he hair. Does that. He does that in Grease Lightning. He's just like, yeah, he's it's like, like cuts them doing that, doing the twirl. Yeah. And then they take mm -hmm. the comb and he does the side. <laughs> Very <laughs> Elvis. Yeah, when he's coming down. <laughs> well, that sticks in my mind a lot too. The engine comes down from the ceiling. This episode's a lot of us just making noises. <laughs> a lot of noises in this movie. A lot of noises in this movie. Yeah. Um, um, okay, so like that's that's probably one of my top favorite scenes, but it's not like probably the, the most iconic part of the movie. It's one of. I mean, like of, I feel like yeah. all of the blo all the songs are pretty iconic. The ensemble, like the, the ensemble pieces are right not like the solo ones i don't know um, so that's a good question of the solo ones which one's mm. your favorite i guess probably mine would be i mean like you got beauty school dropout you got um look at me i'm sandra d look at me i'm sandra d the reprise and then you also have rizzo's song which is like uh the worst things i could do which i kind of I mean know. Oh, that's my, I mean, that's my favorite song. I, I, I figured song. as much as your favorite because it's Rizzo, but. It's Rizzo. It's in my range. <laughs> but I always like the, I did like the reprise better, I think, of um, Sandra D. Oh, yeah, when she. When, when, uh, when Olivia side. sings it. Yeah, it is really good. <laughs> It is really good. It's, uh, no. I do like, I do like Stranded at the Drive-In a lot. Um, okay. I think it's a really good song. That one's good too. Yeah, probably I my favorite too. It's not in the Broadway musical, and I can't remember what song is there instead. There's a different song, and I can't think of it. It's definitely not Stranded at the Drive-In. They wrote that for the the movie. Hmm. Um. There's also a bunch of other female uh, single like solo songs. Again, there's um. The one I was talking about earlier that Sunny sings, and I can't think of the name mm -hmm. anymore, which I think is more of an ensemble song. But then there's also um, a song called Raining on Prom Night, mm -hmm. which 
honestly is useless and I'm glad they cut it. It's a stupid song. And then there's also Freddie, my love, which Marty sings. Um, okay. In the bet, like before, look at me, I'm Sandra D. Yeah. But again, it doesn't really add anything to the plot. I said so I of the musical, of the musical parts, you know, I love, but then you got all the fun. So this is what I want to transition to when they get okay. to the dance. Um, and how all of those block that whole block of songs are probably my favorite too. Oh, like hand dive. With the and... yeah, what what what's the name of the band? I don't know. I almost said Marvin Berry and the Star. <laughs> yeah, as I was going to say it's pretty yeah something like that. <laughs> but you know, I love um. You get like the uh, Elvis. You get Hound Dog. And then, mm-hmm. you, but like hand jive is like amazing. Like that's one of the best. Songs. Yeah. <laughs> um, hand jive, can you do the hand jive? Oh no! Can you do the hand I, jive? I don't know. How's it go? Teach it to me it's, right now. Let's clap, clap over under. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that was just, I remember <laughs> a lot. Oh, and then we forgot to mention Crater Face. Oh, well, I feel like we skipped a lot in the middle of this movie, but... I was just at the pep rally you see for the first time. They come by. Yeah, because like... Oh, that's my favorite, too. T-Burn's when he's like, what are be- Scorpions doing here? They want to rumble or whatever. He pulls out the pocket knife. But then, <laughs> what's his name? Um, D- Duty, he has a gun. <laughs> he has a water gun. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so funny. It's like, how tough are you guys? You're not very tough. Come on. Like, yeah. Kaniki's like ready to throw down. Yeah, he pulls like, out a real switchblade and then yeah. he's like, he has a water gun. It's so funny. The rest of the guys love so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have beef with another. Anyways. Um, another okay, wait. Gang, did you want to say anything else? Because I wanted to talk more about the, the dance. No, we can talk about the dance. We can always bounce back. So, it's because it's, it's a really funny scene. And for me, like as a kid, there's a lot of like adult things that happen in that one. In that one. Uh, like oh, that whole dance because yeah. you got it's funny but it's like you know you got Sonny's pouring the booze in the in the punch you got yes. well that was the thing like how they said like they used to dance too provocatively and then like, tapped on the shoulder like they had to like leave mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like where'd they go <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to know I don't think they but left I I like, think oh, they got no. they were out of the competition but they weren't right okay that's what it was yeah, yeah. They didn't have to leave, but they were like, they couldn't be in the competition anymore. So they were too product, too provocative. They had a, they were done. So you had to dance respectfully, mm-hmm. I guess, in order to win. Yeah. I remember, I remember watching a behind the scenes about the, about the, like the dance and the gym was just so, so warm, like over a hundred degrees in there or something crazy. And like how wow. they had to film like this all in terrible, terrible it. conditions. The girl who plays Cha Cha, she looks very yeah. hot. Like she looks very moist, and she's doing oh, a lot of dancing. Oh, they're sweating bullets, all of them, and then yeah. dancing like ridiculous choreography yeah. and moves. And I, I like Kaniki especially. That like Kaniki stands out to me a lot for this one. <laughs> when he's like doing like, um, hello, can you go? And he's like, because that's that's <laughs> totally me at every wedding and every everything. When, when like that's just me on the going crazy <laughs> um and does that huge I, split but then um yeah <laughs> and, he, and he also does that like kind of cool kick move and he's like he does a kick, the kaniki kick i call it the kaniki kick yeah i wish you could show i wish you could show us i can't when he like holds is, but... up chacha's leg up and he starts yeah, yeah. to do like the split but like right before that he does like this little like it's like like he kind of kicks out it's kind like, of a cool move like a switch yeah kick. <laughs> yeah it's the kick I forgot. I don't know. Anyway, it was like a like um, a rock and roll kind of kick. I can't like a guitar holding position. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know how to explain it. You just have to know it. I love how Danny and Sandy walk, come in too with their choreography, and it's just like so wholesome. And they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's my favorite move too. I have now been told. Whoever watches this, I hope friends of mine know who who they are, who I'm talking about. But okay. uh, was the other night that I have like, I'm famous for this with my friends that when I dance, I do the famous pointing fingers. So. I've danced with you before and I know yeah, that's It's true. like they call it the Carlucci <laughs> pointing fingers because I do it like every time and it's just more natural for me to do it. I'm just like, 
I always point the fingers. So they're like, we're adopting that. <laughs> it's like, we're stealing that movie every time. <laughs> and then I'm, and then I was watching this and I'm just like, this is where it started from. And he's just like, I like that. I like oh, when they yeah. come in. I feel like ooh, it's like it's such a nice like the music is that's what's so it's cool. Like it's like the choreography like they all have a different story within their dancing. I feel like yeah, yeah. It's reflecting what's going on with everybody. I think that's kind of well done. If you, it's, it's a little bit more of a deeper thought to look at mm-hmm. it that way. But I kind of realize how it's kind of a placement and like, OK, they're doing this thing because they're this drama going on between Rizzo and Kaniki. They're all. Yeah. They switch partners. And Danny somehow bumps into his long lost love of Cha Cha. Cha Cha Di Gregorio. Cha Cha Di Gregorio. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets like really weird about it. It's so awkward. Like just get over it. I know, it. but you, it's like I said, over the top. And it's so, <laughs> so much drama. He's like, He's like pacing back and forth, and it's so awkward and cringy. And I'm like, chill, take a chill pill. It's the Zuko. It's the Zuko. (laughs) The tough guy. Mm -hmm. He's like avoiding eye contact. Yeah. So it's so cringy. I wonder how much he smoked Kaniki also in this movie. (laughs) He has like cigarette, cigarette and he has one ready to go. Yeah. Probably a lot. A lot of cigarettes. Yeah. Picked up chain smoking. Um, you know what we didn't talk about, and I just want to bring it up because we have to go back and talk about B school dropout. But I love yeah, not, you- well, not one of my favorites. I always fast forward through it. It's a great song <gasps> as a kid. It always bored me because it's like this is when the movie takes a pause. Like this is her dramatic scene. It's yeah, a great song. Char- I'm not, I'm every not character has it a is. dramatic scene. Well, I just wanted to always get to the dance. That's why. Also, the thing is, in the move in the musical. All of mm-hmm. the main characters have a dramatic scene that they get a song and whatever. But in the movie, they like picked which songs were going to be in it. So it's so random for there's like Frenchie two. to like all of a there's sudden have three. a song. I'd say Danny, her, and Frenchie, and then Rizzo. Yeah. But and like, Sandra D with a little bit with Olivia, but like that's really, really short. And Ooh. it's like a reprise. <laughs> and some bugs there. This fly is like, won't leave me alone. And I'm like, trying to kill it. I can't see it with the light, but I can only see it when it gets really close to me. <laughs> I'm dancing. You're like just dancing. With like... Um, but yeah, they, <laughs> who wins? Does Cha Cha win? The, yeah, Cha Cha and Kaniki win the dance contest. Yeah. No, wait. Cha-Cha and Danny and Zuko. And Zuko win. And Danny Zuko win because they switch partners. Because they, which is, they went together. So dramatic. They so went dramatic. together. All the drama. All we the didn't drama. go together. We were just dancing. We just, we just went together. That's all. We didn't go together. <laughs> what a distinction. We just went together. We didn't go together. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I do love that drive-in scene. <laughs> it's like. Mm. Trying to get the elbows her. Yeah, it was right in the. Right in the side, right in the side boob. <laughs> oh, amazing. I, um. That hot dog and the bun. Oh, and the, <laughs> I really love, I love that song. I love Straight at the Drive-In. I think that's such, I mean, it's not in the musical, but they wrote it, it. It's so good. It's such a good song. I don't think John Travolta can actually sing. Maybe he can, but. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, that they make that joke too in the movie. They do? You know what I'm talking about? No. Like, she's like, why don't you sing professionally? Yeah, because he was a professional singer before he was an actor. Oh, uh, well. You didn't know, you know. that? Oh, no. Else I'm teaching you today. <laughs> I know. I know about his Scientology yeah. background. Because it was before his Vinnie Barbarino days. Yes. Fonzie. He was Vinnie a singer. Barbarino. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or was around the same time. Yeah. That yeah, was a callback to our he wedding was, singer episode. He was like, like you had the two big singers around the time. You had Olivia Newton, and then you had John Travolta. Oh, okay. Who was already coming off of I think Saturday Night Fever. So. Yeah, definitely. It was Saturday Night Fever was like in right? the seventies, like early in the seventies. Yeah, I think. yeah. So this was like, this is the same year as Star Wars. Actually, I think. I oh, have. That, oh, yeah, I should have. I should have. I should have showed you. I have an old newspaper clip. We have. We have an old. 
newspaper and it says Greece and it's like oh wow giving it all this praise and reviews yeah it was really cool that is pretty cool see that um wait you know we have to go back and talk about uh actually mm. maybe it happens after the day Eugene <laughs> Eugene and then also we need to talk about when Danny become tries to become a jock <laughs> no I, 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 I know like... I was saving that I was saving that because that's like oh, that's like okay, right okay. before the end when he's trying oh, oh okay, actually right. you're right it's before the dance isn't it no I don't think so after? because it's, no, after. it's after because she's already she's, she's moved already... on back to the guy right that other weird guy I forgot his name no 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 I apologize it's before the dance because she was like hanging out with him at the the, oh, the mall yeah. shop at Frosty's it's called yeah um and he was getting jealous because he was like saying oh do you have anyone to go to the dance with he's trying to ask her out i think around there and then he finally learns track to impress sandy yeah but we need to i don't know is that like, right the the basketball he's trying to like he's he has a cigarette in his mouth and he's playing basketball and it like cracks me up yeah. every time i see it and then the wrestling he like tries to get into like a, a ball a brawl with his fist it's hilarious <laughs> hmm. <laughs> i love that <laughs> I do. I like it. it beats everybody up, and the coach is great. He's just like, he's oh yeah, he's nice. I know him. He's in um, he's in Gremlins. If I don't know if you've seen Gremlins, but yes, okay, yeah, I've seen him in other things before. But that wait, that's the same guy yeah. from Gremlins. I thought mm-hmm. the guy from Gremlins was the same guy from uh, Small Soldiers, or unless I'm thinking of a different guy. Are you thinking of the dad? I'm talking about their neighbor no there's like a garbage guy i thought or something i haven't seen gremlins in a long time so i, I can't remember but i always think gremlins is a lot like small soldiers and it's made by i think similar people so oh, could be. maybe like the the guy his name was joe in the movie small soldiers i thought i thought that guy was in gremlins are we talking about that guy because that guy's different i think than the coach i don't Remember but you may be right that guy soldiers. but you you're, you're probably accurate like that guy's also in gremlins. I feel I haven't like seen gremlins in a long by time. the time that small soldiers came around in the 90s this guy was probably dead <laughs> okay but there is definitely a guy who was in gremlins who's also in small soldiers the guy goes wow. toys is hell <laughs> yeah i don't know okay. i don't remember so i can't remember the last time i watched small soldiers oh man it's so good Saw that movie Still, twice in theaters. Anyway, it's different terrifying. episode. Absolutely terrifying. Great. It is, um, but it was dark and crazy. I loved it. Wait, um. Anyways, what? Wait, 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 wait. Well, not to digress too much, but I feel like did, did no wait. Never mind. I have to fact check something. I'm not gonna say it. Forget it. <laughs> off camera, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out off camera. I don't want to sell you an idiot. So, <laughs> um. Anyway, what were we talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> Greece. <laughs> how specific of you? Um. Oh, we were talking about Danny when he was trying to be a jock and how yeah, funny it is. Really that does funny. happen. It does happen before the dance. You're right. Um. But after yeah. the dance, when he's doing the hurdles and he falls down, it's pretty funny. Danny. Yeah. She gets so concerned. So dramatic. Oh, this movie's so dramatic. Jenny. Sandy, what um, you doing here? I thought you were going back to Australia. I've got to change the plan. Uh, I would I would love to see you do a radio broadcast of like this whole movie and you doing all the different voices. <laughs> Listen to a radio broadcast. I don't want to see it. I just want to hear you do the voices. Put your mittens on your kittens and away we go. <laughs> um, so they, you ever see Hairspray? You know, Corny Collins? No, no. But I know um, John Travolta is in that, in the he, he movie is in version. There, yeah. As a um, old, very large woman. <laughs> Vince Fontaine is very Courtney Collins esque. Well, Courtney Collins esque was very Vince Fontaine esque. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh, yeah. What but, the dance? So, so like I said, the dance happens. They go to Thunder Road eventually. They get the car working. That's a fun scene. Danny drives for Kinnicky because, um, what happens? Oh, you know what? Of- oh, it's, that's that that scene always reminds me of like the pennies on the ground. 
You ever do that? Find a penny, pick it up all day long. You'll have good luck. She would say. Oh yeah, she finds Who's a penny, gives it to Sinecki. Oh, Jan does it. Um, Marty, I or think. Frenchie? Finds it. Oh, is it maybe Marty? Marty, Marty That's says one of the one of the girls. Yeah. I have more um, fresh in my mind because I'm like I said, I just saw it the other day, but yeah, it's true. The yeah. scene always and it's like that's the famous the famous bridge in California, I guess, where they shoot all the time. They feel yeah. Have they, you have you actually seen that? Being I mean, out in California? Like a, it's just like a ravine. Is it just everywhere? I feel like that's where all, all the movies have a, a race card. I've never I've never seen that. I don't know. It's just like uh, a scene. It always reminds like me of American graffiti. Greased. Um gone in 60 seconds. Like I think of all those scenes. Just like yeah. it, this big uh probably james bond or something i don't know there's so many that's kind of cool underneath the bridge um, there yeah it always reminds me of america on the TV road because i mean that's what people did they raced their cars you know we saw that movie the other night and it was like it was just like like it's a second it's like lieutenant <laughs> <laughs> I believe he was second at thunder road <laughs> wild that that uh, always made me laugh <laughs> wait you want me yeah uh, you want me to drive for you is that what you're saying you want me to shut you down you want me, you're trying to shut me down is that what you're trying to <laughs> like the, that's like the the more standard accent of john travolta has 10 different accents so there's like the straight voice more like the robert downey accent he has and then he has like the the vinnie barbarino like oh yeah how you doing you know <laughs> it's like you know, this, <laughs> they're like rocking and rolling oh i love that line in this movie mm-hmm. like, rocking and rolling <laughs> that's my name don't wear it out <laughs> <laughs> he's trying so hard and i love it it's so funny yeah very dramatic <laughs> and it's like Cindy. Um... <laughs> so yeah thunder road happens they win the race pink slips ownership paper <laughs> i know i love how you could just like turn the pink slip over and like someone owns your car now like wild playing for pinks wild um Pretty but nice. i do love this last scene because this is to me one of the most iconic yeah songs and scenes in the movie um what does it remind you of, by the way? I wonder, being a kid growing up around here, that scene. Okay, you, um, if you're understanding what I'm talking about, the whole we're talking about the one that I want. Yes. Song. Correct. But are you talking about so, car- the carnival? Yes. What does that remind you of? Any idea? Well, I mean, when I growing up in my town, they always had a carnival when I was a kid. Okay, and but like, like it, that, it was like the that, end of summer. But that like little like house of fun or whatever you want to call that that they're on mm-hmm. where it's like the earthquake oh thing. adventureland yes <laughs> every time yeah. and like when i was at adventureland i always want to do those moves that they're doing yeah it's like, like so uh, much fun and they're like all on all the different yeah love the things. dancing in that part ah uh, that's coming great. down the so as a kid i didn't know that the name of this song was called you're the one that i want i really really thought it just goes you're the one that I want. The wah? That's it. The one that I want? I just said, wah, 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 wah. That was like a, I thought wah, it was like wah. a sound. Yeah. You're the one that I want. You want the wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. I think I could use to say. Wah, wah. You You're the wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. You want the wah, wah. I don't know. What I need. And then I think oh, yes, I finally heard it right. Yeah. Um. It's so iconic. And the electrifying. I always oh, do. Oh, yeah. I always do that. It's electrifying. He's like, Ugh. It always annoys me, though. I still don't understand. She, like, basically changes herself to fit in with everyone. And I'm like, what kind of message is this <laughs> to send to everyone? A great message. <laughs> A great message. Because she looks darn good in those leather pants. I mean, she looks great. So good. Her hair. Yeah. But she likes smokes a cigarette and i'm like well, I mean, come on that yeah, dress she's a she's a goody goody i get it you gotta we hand it to like, her i know what you're saying but we we all could do like but the, it was the, it's life. a sweet Go thing it, he's trying like, to change uh, for her she's trying to change for him even though she shouldn't have to but she's she's just like hey she comes to that that point it's a character it's not, arc. Even, 
Yeah. It's or not even just for like, each if other. I'm gonna they're be accepted. cheating for their friends. Gonna drop the act. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's I, so I gotta get my grease on. Oh, gotta get a grease on. I gotta get my grease on. <laughs> that's really just we want to see in that dress. That's really well. That, that's all that happened. Yeah, I, mean, have, I mean, I'm not. Just she comes not out with this big, in this, 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 you know, crazy leather dress. And then they have this great Adventureland scene. That's just really fun. The carnival at the end of the year, for whatever, they have a carnival, which is yeah. fun. Yeah. Did we ever have a carnival at the end of our year? And how come it's the you end know. of the year? Can you figure this out? Is oh, this yeah, where the whole the year just, passed. I think like we were just like, you know, did we fall asleep for like <laughs> eight months? yeah like it it's like there's really a dance and then the school's over year. school's actually one month <laughs> that's it school, school starts year. and ends feels that way four, four weeks <laughs> yeah it does happen really senior quickly. year goes by so fast though i feel like that would too yeah year. just no carnival for us were they seniors in this movie i thought yeah, so yeah. maybe yeah because frenchie goes back to school right sure she has to she has to finish to get her diploma. Don't hurt yourself trying to make sense of any of this. <laughs> That's your problem. I mean, yeah, it's like the fastest timeline ever. Exactly. <laughs> now, I... And it's funny because I always wanted to, like, be part of this carnival. It's just, like, so much fun. <laughs> just be it like, yep, like you always fun. get a carnival. Like I, I mean... We never had something cool like that at the end of the school year. No, but it kind of reminds me in town, it was right by our middle school where they set up the carnival in our town. So sometimes we would see them setting it up like around, like uh, yeah. it wasn't the end of the school year, but sometimes it'd be like, oh, the carnival's here. <laughs> I get excited <laughs> and I'm at school and think about Greece sometimes. Um, so did you want to talk about the uh, the ending song? Last but not least. Uh, there's an ending song. Want me to sing it for you? Yes. It's not bamboo. I always thought it was bamboo. It's bamboo. Yeah. I always thought it was bamboo. We go together like. Mm -hmm. What are the words? Oh my God. It goes, my big babies. <laughs> it's a very together like two different songs. Chang 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 chat. Yeah, I, I do love that song. I think it's this was like piece. definitely one of my top favorites. I, I I think I put this over Walla 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 <laughs> at wow. the time when I was a kid because I did love I did love the and the dance. Oh, we got to talk about the dancing. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. uh, the dancing, but but also this great, um, uh, the great line that that um, we didn't even talk about that. I'm so, oh man, that's a great moment too. Where I feel like we skipped the like, whole middle part. I know there's so much we skipped over, but like trying um, to just hit like more of the highlights. But yeah. like the like when they find out Rizzo's has the uh, is pregnant rumor, and they mm -hmm. she finds out literally as like that was that's that's a really funny bit just like as soon as she gets over here everybody told everybody within those like yeah 10 seconds. by the time she got yeah like, oh where's all here you're knocked up and he's like ah who starts travel fast around here whatever she says she's like man who travel fast <laughs> around here man <laughs> rizzo frank rizzo <laughs> no but uh and but like i like how you know that's the whole point of like she she got knocked up that's the, her story but then it's just like Rizzo, what are you doing up there your condition <laughs> we say that all the time <laughs> i love that line <laughs> oh, yes, <I'm> on. <laughs> um I'm not yeah they're, pregnant. Whoa! <laughs> they're so happy about it i mean so i would cheesy. be <laughs> so very cheesy, cheesy but Oh, the, the cutouts with <laughs> You know, in the cutouts, they're singing. Yeah. Like, there's like a woman like grabbing a monkey's nipple. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of boob grabbing in those. <laughs> like, who did that? Who thought that was appropriate? I mean, it's not really a children's movie, but who thought that was appropriate? Cool. 
Do you Grease guys. Monkey was the original title. Of this. Grease Monkey. Um, so silly, but it was funny. Yeah, you know, I, I just love the dancing. Home, but yeah. there's the guy I would call him the Duck Man, actually, or the Penguin Guy. I call him. He does like that Penguin dance. And oh yeah, like, and he's like. I feel like there's a there's a dance that goes along with this song too. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. I always think of duty on the ground. That's funny. Duty on the ground. Duty on the ground. But he's like, when we at night, and he's like, he's like so far back. He's doing like a matrix, like plank, snapping his fingers. Yeah. Where we can find romance. They're always like swinging their arms. Like this. Oh, oh, that's so what good. I love about the song. The round of lemon, lemon, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Chupa, 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't think he's really singing it, but I see him like, like, a, like a puppet. You know what I was thinking of? You know, uh, the, the Hanukkah song by uh, of course. Adam Sandler. He goes, Bowser from Shanana. And I don't know why I always yeah. think of Shanana. <laughs> and Arthur Fonzarelli. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> what a great song what a great way to end the musical like it's just so happy best like, way yeah best way to end a movie too is just have the car take off in the middle of the air yeah i wanted to talk about that because i still don't understand it it's so bizarre to me why is the car everyone flying? doesn't i think it's just like mm-hmm. this movie's so over the top and goofy like let's make it just yeah. drive off there's this crazy like theory like that someone that made up world did you hear about that that like they like they died and this is all like a dream and this is like them taking off. There's it's some something crazy like that. I heard some crazy fan theory when of that they ending die? explained on the beach. <laughs> who knows? But I oh, think, like maybe I'm when gonna find it. She went to who was drowning on the beach. Maybe I her. saved her knife. I saved her life. She nearly drowned. Maybe yeah. So there's like that she was drowning that maybe and she they didn't, both and, drowned. I don't know. Maybe they both drowned. And this is like their their fantasy worlds. In a dream world, a fancy they, world they, have to, they have to work really hard to get. Together. And then they go, and then they go off to heaven together. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but there's no a stairway. Weird way. <laughs> it's just a there's flying. A stair- there was car. a stairway though. There was a stairway in Beauty School Dropout. Yes. that's the stairway to heaven. And mm-hmm. Frankie Valley will lead you in. Wait, I don't think it's Frankie Valley, is it? Who knows that song? It looks like him, but I don't think it is him. It's some other guy. I always thought it was Frankie. Fact oh, checker. Right. Fact right. checker. Well, he's not here, so. Fact checker. We're going to be wrong. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> wow. Um, your story yeah, says so. to tell. Uh, I really, I'm probably gonna listen to this tomorrow while I'm working because I love Dree <laughs> so much and I know every song and I love him. Uh, um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good movie. I, I, I don't think they cut out too much on the edited TV version except for like bad words and whatnot. Mm. Maybe some time constraints they probably cut out some things, but most of it, most of it was there that I could recall. So. And some of the things that I thought they would cut out, they didn't cut out. So I was like, okay, cool. They left that in there. <laughs> it's a pretty short movie to begin with. That's not, yeah, I don't yeah. think it's like terribly long. No. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, oh, that's funny when they, the, the garage lady that helps the, the shop teacher. Or whatever oh, she yeah. Is. I forgot about her. I love when she goes like, oh, she's going to race. It's like, oh, this one's hot. Just like the parts that are on here. <laughs> It's like, no, most of the parts were donated. <laughs> That's pretty Blue funny. Moon. But we have 
photos of you so cold Munas. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. So in the dancing, there's a song there. I spend my days just mooning. Yeah, there's a song. <laughs> there's do. a song there. There is a song there. But there's Blue and Moon I, instead in this version is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But I think he sings a song. I forget what character that is. Is it Duty that sings mm. it, maybe? Yeah, maybe it's Duty. Nobody sings in this movie. No, yeah. None no of those guys, guys sing. sing. Yeah, yeah none the, of, they just the they stage, just sing a back, they just do backup. Yeah. In the musical, they sing and they all mm. have songs. I forgot about Mooning. Wow. <laughs> I just thought of that. I think Jan sings it with him. Yes, Jan yeah. sings it with him. Yeah. Sure. Don't know. Wasn't there <laughs> in this version. <laughs> but yeah. Fun movie. Does it still hold up? Uh, here and there. Yeah, I think the music does. Problematic. Story, things, the like... story's a little cheesy and fun, but that's what it always was. And you can learn yeah. a lot about, you know, high schoolers wanting to get with each other in a very weird way. <laughs> yeah. That but are not, not really high schoolers, age like appropriate high schoolers. Yeah. yeah. It's a little awkward and cringy, but still a great movie. I still love it. It's good. Enjoy it's it. Good. One of my favorite stage. It's a fun back movie. to school, end of school movie. I think people. Yeah, definitely. That are going, You're going back, back to school. school. Yeah, definitely give it a watch. Um, did I did I mention like that whole back to school thing? It does. It's more like I said in the second one, but it reminds me of a goofy movie where Max goes back to school, even though it's like he's not he's not like going yeah. back to school, but it's like they go. It's like a kind of a Grease musical high school song. Yeah, I mean. yeah, because they're. Goofy mm-hmm. movies, summer, but yeah, it's like that. Mm-hmm. Check out that episode. We talk about it. <laughs> Plug that in. Oh, well, yes, it's from I'll link a few, it. few weeks back. What number are we on right now? 21, 22? This is 22, guys. 22? Yeah. Yeah. We're moving along. I can't believe 22 episodes deep. So next week we're gonna do Grease Two. I don't think I can talk about. I can't talk about Grease Two for an hour. (laughs) So good, it's so bad. I love it. So bad. I can't. I can't talk about it. Shooter McGavin is in it. You gotta say Shooter McGavin's in it. Oh no! Happy Gilmore is it one of the T Birds? Oh yeah, he is. Wow, I haven't seen that movie. Pfeiffer's great in it though too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cast is good. The move, the songs are good. It's just there's. it's very 80s <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah that too um we will not be talking about grease 2 next week <laughs> darn no i uh i advise that as well so i'm cool with that yes Do any uh, any last thoughts any final thoughts here no, on the springer just... show <laughs> <laughs> um no i love this movie i'm glad we did this episode it's fun it, it, it brings joy to the musical theater person in me. <laughs> it brings it. me joy to watch you try to Danny Zuko your hair. I don't have enough some, grease. You need grease. Yeah, I was going to say you need yeah. grease. <laughs> um, well, that's that. it. What are you, do you have any final thoughts, Chris? Final thought is make sure, guys, um, that you're all, um, you know, age appropriate to watch this movie <laughs> and age appropriate to go to high school <laughs> <laughs> sure and remember that you are all the walla the walla <laughs> you're all the walla <laughs> yeah the walla <wall-a-wa-wa. laughs> um on that note that'll do it for us we go together friends peace out <laughs> Bye. You're friends in time. Friends in time.